Hello everyone and welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. We are doing the full moon reading for the fire signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, I am doing something different for the full moon reads. Um, still using the almost the exact same decks I use every single full moon read, so we're still uh, starting off with the moonology. It is a love reading, so I will be using the Doreen uh, Vir Virtues Romance Re uh, <laughs> Doreen Virtues Romance Angels, excuse me, to get uh, the old kind of get what um, the lunar vibes are sending as far as love readings. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this off. Okay, we got Don't Let the Past Hold You Back, the South Noid. We have. Show the world the real you. And it's time to release negativity. Alright, so we have the full moon in Aquarius and the full moon in Scorpio. So we are definitely moving towards the full moon vibes. So we have the next full moon is November 30th. Uh, the beaver full moon. So there's definitely... Um, like I said, we already have those full moon energies. Could be dealing with Aquarius. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. But you definitely, or you could have it in your chart. But definitely some negativity that needs to be released. And some authenticity that needs to be let out. Okay, tell me about don't let the past hold you back. Okay, we have falling in love. Kissing the divine in another and in yourself. Show the world the real you. Okay, we have Yamaya, Grandmother Ocean, and Prematal. So this is basically something that's been around since the beginning of time. And um, with Show the World the Real You and Prematal, this is something that you've been training for your entire lifetime. <laughs> Falling in love. <laughs> that's what we're all here for. To, uh, essentially... That is the meaning of life. We are here to fall in love, find the divine in another, and work together to um, to heal Mother Earth. What is the time to release? Okay, so in order to release the negativity, we have sanctuary, privacy, insulate, personal space, respected boundaries, and taboos. All right, my fire signs, it's time to disconnect from the world. Let's see. Tell me about falling in love. Oh, damn, that slid the fuck off. <laughs> you deserve love and you are lovable. Tell me about Yamaya. And show the world the real you. Let your friends help. Ask for support from others. So... If you're having trouble figuring out who it is that you're trying to release, then it's time to ask for some help. Let your friends help. And then for sanctuary, you have codependent uh, codependency. Addictions are effect, uh, are affecting your romantic life and romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you definitely have to release some codependency issues. We have one more over here. And you love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of codependency issues. Um and you know what I also feel is that there's a lot of unexpression of this new love that's being developed. Like, I want to say that maybe both you and your person are feeling this. Mostly in private, I want to say. Like, this is something that you guys really do. Like, oh my god, I can't stop. Like, you can kind of see it in her face. Like, oh, I can't stop thinking about this person. And it's like, there's a familiarity about them. It's like I've known them all my life. And the codependency is that maybe... You guys need to start expressing some romantic feelings because even your friends are starting to notice like, hey, this new love is really taking, t 
taken by you or you or the guys are really taken by each other. Okay, let's see. What is the challenge here for my fire signs in the full moon? Okay. We have temperance, Sagittarian energy. There is divine timing at work here. And you have the hangman, Pisces. There, there is divine timing for a new shift in perspective. Yeah, because there's a choice here. There's possibly a choice in lovers, possibly a choice in a situation. Um, it could be that you're... I don't see finances in career. I don't feel finances in career. Oh, you do have deception, though, in the bottom of the deck. And I'm telling you, I just, I want to say that deception is holding the same codependency energy where somebody doesn't want to spill the tea about how much they really care about somebody. And the thing is that the more it's hidden and the more that this person is in this emperor or emperor energy, it's, it's going to hide, um, it's going to um, keep this... Um, this relationship from ascending to a higher level of commitment. Mm. Let me see. Hold on. I had to grab another deck. <laughs> okay, so what advice? Do we have for fire signs, please? Regarding this spread. And what they should do this coming up for me. November 30th, 2020. I'm sorry, this one wasn't. This one wasn't meditated on, so I just want to make sure that I get the energy right. Okay. Okay. We have innocence. Take time to play, nurture your inner child, and live with a childlike sense of wonder. And beloved. Prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning into your relationship and believe you are lovable. You got you are lovable twice, my fire collective. Aries, Sag, Leo. Guys, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, you are lovable. Every type of way, every single way, okay? My Venus is not Aries, so I take that very personal. We are very innocent and we are very lovable. We can, um, you need to make sure that if it's you that is holding this deception in this relationship and is keeping yourself from, you know, expressing this to your person, expressing your love to the person, um, work on that. And if it's your person, then have patience. Know that everybody is at that point at some time and um, in order to work on a relationship or to push it forward, you always have to work together. Any final messages for the Fire Collective for the full moon? All right. I find deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. I have, I'm, I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. And under the deck you have, I create mindful moments throughout the day reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural. All right, fire signs, I hope this helped. And I will see you guys for the December reads. Thank you. Bye.